Chef Adam here with the live food experience. Yeah, we're celebrating Earth Day. And uh, I want to share with you a recipe that I love very much. Very tasty, very satisfying, uh, and very nutritious. Um, this is my superfood oats recipe. Um, and it features oats. I get gluten-free organic oat groats. So these guys are something that you can actually, you can actually sprout them. Um, the, the groats are basically the seeds for growing oats. Um, so I soak them overnight um, and they kind of swell up and soften. Uh, the trick though is to use a high powered blender and blend them. Uh, and by doing that, you create something I like to refer to as silken oats. And then I put a, a cup of water. So there's a half cup of the oats. You could do this with steel cut oats. And you can also do this with the rolled oats. I encourage you to get uh, organic um, and gluten free if possible, um, the oats. So with the rolled, oats. Um, it's going to be a little different procedure uh, because they're softer and they're going to absorb uh, less water. Uh, so these, um, you just have to tweak the recipe a little bit. This is, I'm doing this with the, the oat groats. It'll be similar to the steel cut. You still want to soak it overnight. If you don't have a high powered blender like a Vitamix, you're going to want to use the rolled oats. Uh, and you can pre-soak those as well. Um, for a couple hours or just an hour and um, they should blend fine in your your regular blender so let's dump this in here now we are going to add two tablespoons of hemp seeds now in essence by blending the hemp seeds in water in this Vitamix you're making your own hemp milk now you could do the same thing uh, with a almond butter or any your favorite nut butter. This is two tablespoons of hemp seed. Hemp seed is a complete protein. Um, it also has some omega-3s. And to sweeten today, we're going to use pitted dates. So this is about three, I think three or four dates. Depends on how sweet you want it. You could also use coconut palm sugar. Uh, if you're a fan of maple syrup, you can use maple syrup. Uh, some people like agave. Uh, or if you want to do the low glycemic version, you can use something like um, monk fruit or erythritol or xylitol or even um, stevia. Uh, but we're using dates, so that's going to go in here. It's going to add our sweetness and dates are loaded with fiber. Here's where the superfood part comes in. A teaspoon of ginger powder. Uh, cloves pretty potent. I just took the, the shaker and, and shook some in here. This is a half teaspoon of cinnamon and this is a shaker, uh, a little shake shake of uh, nutmeg. And then this is a green superfood powder. Um, the powder that I'm using today is vitamin O green, from Health Force. In terms of the ingredients in here, it's it's insane the amount of goodies in this bottle. There's a teaspoon of that in here. Oh, and there's a pinch of salt, Himalayan salt. Boom, into the blender. So not only do we have the oats, but we're going to have chia. So it's silken chia oats. And now we blend to get the silken oats part. We don't blend the chia. So the chia is on standby. Oats are in the blender with everything else. All right, let's check out the consistency. So we got the consistency is a little, it's kind of soupy. We like that, but I actually want it to be a little more liquid. So I'm gonna put a little filtered water in here. So in the end,
because if you use different oats, like steel cut versus oat groats versus rolled oats, you're gonna get a different consistency. Here's the consistency we're, we're aiming for. If you look from the overhead, it's, this might be a little runny, but guess what? The chia is going to take care of that. So we pour the chia in. The wonderful thing about the Vitamix blender is it has this low setting on the variable control knob, so I can run it and it's like at an idle speed. Um, the blades are moving and they're agitating and swirling everything around, but it's not breaking up the chia seeds. Now, if you don't have a blender that has this low setting, what you do is you transfer the oat mixture to a jar and then you add your chia. This was about two tablespoons of chia. I also like to add other superfood powders if it is runny, like you could add some maca, you could add lucuma, you could make this chocolate if I add some cacao. So there's other additions you can add. You can also add some dry fruit. You could throw some dry goji berries in here, you could throw some raisins. Um, any of those additions are gonna draw in liquid. Now, another thing I like to add is fresh banana, slice that up and mix that in. So there's a whole bunch of options. Um, just have fun with it, enjoy. Here we go, take a look, that's how we got it. I want to thank everybody for joining me. This is Adam Graham from the Live Food Experience, author of the Complete Idiot's Guide to Raw Food Detox. You can find me online at livefoodexperience.com. Also on Instagram at raw underscore chef underscore Adam. And I'm also on Facebook at Chef Adam A. Graham and Life of Experience. Keep it live. Chia.